Yesterday we reviewed The Sticky Stinger and I fell in love. I'm completely in love. I think everybody should have a bottle of this sauce. It's absolutely delicious. And the comments about this sauce were hysterical. So you need to go back in time and watch the review that I did yesterday of this sauce because people were like, you should just chug the bottle if you're gonna drink it like that, which I want to. <laughs> I thought about it. The other most frequently made comment was, oh my God, I love that sauce. So I'm telling you now, get on it. I'm not sponsored. I don't get paid. <laughs> I really just do this because I enjoy it. I'm telling you now, go get it while the getting's good, because if they wanted to mark this up double the price, I bet money they could. You're going to be paying a lot for it once it's in that Fuego Box membership. I'm just saying. But that is not the reason that we are here today. The reason that we are all gathered here today. Rock and Heat Sergeant Sauce. Now, this is a collaboration sauce between the maker of that there sauce back yonder, Colton Beckett, and a Sergeant Dunn, who's a veteran. Um... So here's what's really cool about it. I followed this dude over on Instagram. Um, I know he makes beef jerky. I didn't know that he made a sauce. So we're all learning about this in real time together. So first and foremost, Sergeant Dunn is a veteran. So thank you for your service. Uh, secondly, I hear that he makes really great jerky. So I'm really interested in the sauce. As Sergeant Sauce is a tomatillo-based table sauce, bumping up the heat with habaneros, Mexican spices add to the flavor in a big way and bring color to the sauce. One dollar from each sale donated to disabled American veterans. Sauces for causes are always the best sauces. And it says down here, Sergeant Dunn's beef jerky. Uh, I'm on my phone, so like ingredients are tomatillos, habaneros, onion, white vinegar, lime juice, molasses, roasted garlic, salt, and spices. All right, you guys on big shoes to fill, Sergeant Dunn, with all due respect, sir. Let's see how this stacks up to the sticky stinger. As always, thanks for sending this to me. This kind of stuff makes my day. Sergeant sauce. Ooh, ooh. Oh man, it's a uh, really strong tomatillo. Uh, it's making my mouth water. When it makes my mouth water, that means that the flavor is higher than the vinegar. Like the smell uh, is actually like food versus just vinegary. And this smells amazing. It's all flavor. It's uh, like a stout tomatillo. And then the peppers definitely come through. A little bit of garlic. It's it's just, it's got that fresh verde uh, aroma going to it. And down here, it says a six out of 11 on the heat scale. That beautiful pour. The pour is very similar to the last one that we reviewed. It's nice, it's thick, it's chunky, it's meaty. Um, okay. Not what I was expecting at all. It's off. I don't think I shook that. Let's try this again. I'm not gonna use my teeny tiny spoon. I need my whole face for this. Ah yes, okay. Now, <laughs> now we have a sauce. Mm, just a word to the wise, always shake your sauces. Okay, completely different experience now that we've shaken that up. There's a, it, it's pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> I was so bummed. I was like, I'm about to have to say I don't like a sauce. I just didn't shake it. Thank God. <laughs> that was about to be so awkward. Okay, this is kind of like a picante sauce a little bit. Uh, it's like, here, it's unique. All right, all right. I'm excited now. Woo, I really was scared. I was about to have to, for the first time in my life, be like, mm -mm. but no, this is good. Just shake it well. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, there's two aspects to the texture of this that I'm really digging. The first aspect is the smooth molasses texture paired with the mash of the peppers. You see? Yeah, you see the seeds and stuff in there? So like there's some mashy meatiness and then this like smooth velvety molasses texture. Uh, it's sweet up front, but then it sort of gives way to this garden freshness. However, that garden freshness sits in the back seat and sort of rides in the back seat, if not the trunk, uh, to the molasses sweetness. So it's sweet up front, a hint of that garden freshness. And then I still sort of detect like this peppercorn pop at the end. I don't know why. 
Uh, <clears throat> but one thing that I noticed and I do like about it is while there is garlic in this sauce, it ends. What I mean by that is a lot of times if sauces have garlic in them, uh, the garlic sort of lingers long after you've swallowed the sauce. Not here. Here, it's pretty much just clean, cut and dry, nice, fresh, gardeny sweet. I dig it. I really, really dig it. Um, <clears throat> this one has a little bit more savory, earthy, whereas its counterpart has a little bit more on the sweet side, sweet, savory, and earthy. Yeah, it's, uh, but yeah, this one, I, I kind of get picante vibes a little bit. Um, it's a manly meaty sauce we have here. Uh, but it's sweet deep down. So if you're interested in this sauce or some of Sergeant Dunn's beef jerky, uh, you can check him out on Instagram, Sergeant Dunn's beef jerky. I'm sure he can hook you up. This was really fun, guys. Thanks so much for sending me these sauces to review. Definitely a fan. Um, yeah, if y'all get you some, let me know what you think. God bless. Y'all take care.